hello what's up everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming by today today we are going to i am going to i'm going to challenge myself everybody is making one of these and i was like hmm i gotta make something like that because i'm so jealous you guys are just so awesome so i'm trying to make something easier which works for me so and as you can see you can pick anything that you want in here you can even reuse it or put that on your thing so it's kind of like right on your table all right so stay tuned and we are going to make something like this this would be awesome and perfect to give a present to a friend or somehow like you could even put some chocolates in it so let's go and let's get started all right so with this particular project we are going to going to have a I got this one it's a kind of ceramic sound like I'm trying to um, recycle this thing so I got this one chipped so we'll see how we're gonna work on it we are going to make a floating cup it's been over and I want to make one for myself to make everything easier so I want to find out which one is a better technique so I'm going to play around with this and I have this bling bling I used to have so much of these but we're going to use this for now and everything all kinds of bling and let's play around all kinds of stuff so this one and what I'm going to use some uses a fork but I figured it looks like the fork is already heavy so I'm just going to use the skewers one, the metal one-ish so this is what I'm going to use hopefully it works by the way so I'm going to use this one as well so we're just going to play around which one is better to hold a cup okay and I'm going to have this one as well and yes I love using fabric tech if you can see it this is really good for bonding fabrics lace glass leather and wood and trims so I usually use this in every way like for example when I use my previous project with my picture frames with a glass on it it holds really good so we'll see how this one works you can use a E6000 if you want to, but this is what I'm going to use, okay? And yes, who can get wrong with duct tape? So, let's use this one. And let's get started. Here we go. Alright, so I forgot to mention you're gonna, you kind of need this one. So, some people use a glue gun, but I'm not going to use a glue gun. Alright, so you might wonder why I'm not using a glue gun because over time that glue gun is going to peel off to the material especially it depends on what weather you are in if it's hot temperature or somehow cold and I live in cold temperature so possible it could be a possible to come off so I'm just gonna use this and duct tape all right so let's see how this one works all right so first you are going to make sure this one is very easy to work on because it's metal-ish already and fork can be very very good too but it's just fork is already heavy and it's so hard to work on for me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wrap this around with a metal-ish here So now we are going to work on something that I can make this one flat there like so. So let's work on this. All 
All right, so as you can see, already made like almost a letter Z. All right, so now the best thing for you to do is you always start at the bottom, so it's much easier. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to clean this space down here and I'm going to put a consistent amount or a lot of these directly to the metal. I know this is not a duct tape, but it's a gorilla kind. So it's still a duct tape to me. I call everything duct tape. <laughs> so so then I can put that in there. It's almost like steady-ish, like as you can see. It's like so. And you just have to tape it down with this. All right, so as you can see, guys, I have to put a little tube of this one, like a toilet paper or a paper roll tube. I put them inside and flatten them out because if you don't put this one, there's no something like a bridges on it. So, and I don't want to use a glue gun because over time and my location is cold. So, and, but still I'm going to use this kind of glass. I mean, yes, this kind, and this kind of glue, I mean. And I'm going to, as you can see, guys, this bottom is already strong. It's already strong, okay? Super strong. And I'm just going to put more glue in here. That's all I add up is that tube. And of course, I also put a glue inside there so they stay, as you can see. I know it's kind of messy, but it'll be beautiful after this. This toilet paper roll or this paper towel roll tube is just to make it sturdy and more secured. And it's kind of like a bridge inside, so it holds it better. And you kind of want to make it flatten the mouth by the paper. And it's like a bridge in it. And you put a duct tape. You kind of want to squeeze it down as well in the inside so your paper is going to be sticking to the metal skewer inside. So that's how you are going to do it just like what I'm doing as you can see guys it's not even that much of a duct tape but it's already holding nicely and let's put more duct tape down here all right so as you can see it's already done and it floats how cool is that so that's what I did and it looks kind of messy but it's much faster than putting so much glue in it like the hot glue gun and it does holds perfectly. Now we can decorate our plate. All right. All right. So while I'm working on this particular project, I want my item to be laying down because I don't want it to be more wiggly and it's going to be moving around and I want it more sturdy, okay? So while they're settling down, I am going to take my glue gun. Right now, I'm going to use my glue gun and I am going to use this silver diamond mesh. This is a mesh. I'm going to mix everything up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this one around here and I'm just going to decorate this one. And while it's laying down, I just let it be because the glue 
which is the Fabri-Tac. It does work so perfect, guys. And of course, with the help of the duct tape or the Gorilla Tape is helping very much so. So right now, I'm just going to work on this one and I'm going to use a glue gun. So then with this particular tutorial purposes, I'm going to proceed on using my glue gun as well, okay? So let's go. All right, so there you go. With all of my bling blings and all of my craft stuff inside. And as you can see, I can shake it. I can find all of my bling blings in here in this one plate when I'm crafting. Isn't that awesome? So I have a space for my own bling blings and it's amazing where I can find all of my cool stuff in there and this could be an awesome present for your friend that loves craftings and I am thinking of adding want a butterfly because I love butterfly okay so let me go see and find me some butterfly all right so a friend of mine gave me this jot sticker she saw this at the Dollar Tree so she grabbed that for me because she knew I love butterflies and this you can find this at the Dollar Tree as well and I put them right in the handle it looks like a 3d ish butterfly so I put them on my plate on my cup and somehow how it looks like that there's a butterfly in it and on my plate there's a butterfly and you go What do you think about that that was super fast and easy and i like that idea no hassle no nothing that gives me a hard time and yeah so i use that kind of liquid of glue because i live here in a cold area so it depends on um, your climate in there so 
yeah i really like it and i enjoy doing it so if you have any questions give a comment down below and please come back next time and see you soon you have an awesome awesome day bye